make sure you hit the like button while you come in. That's access to this content. That's, you know, making sure that uh, YouTube is going to pump this, this video today and also to be able to promote it. We talk about tech all the time. There's a big change that's getting ready to happen in the next three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years. There's a new change that's getting ready to happen. You got to be a part of it. We talked about, you know, tech and how important it is for you to make a good living for yourself. We talk about uh, degrees around the STEM and so forth and how it's important for you to focus on these degrees and focus on getting your skills and focus on IT and so forth so that you can make a good living for yourself later on in life or now or to get to the bag. Well, you hear what Facebook just did. They changed the name to Meta and they're looking at an internet 10.0. I'll call it 10.0 because it's not an internet 2.0. It's a little bit more advanced than that. So let me just say this. Let me give you guys an introduction to what my definition of the metaverse is. Many of you probably don't do a lot of the reading in the tech space and so forth. And to be quite honest with you, when Facebook came out with this and changed their name, I did a quick little digest of it to understand exactly what they're looking to do. But I didn't spend a lot of time, you know, reading into it and so forth. But I want you guys to look at it this way. We interact with the internet on our computers today, right? I'm on my computer, have my monitors and so forth, or either on our phones, right? Or either on some tablet and so forth. The metaverse is a little bit of a different experience. A metaverse is supposed to be that experience where you're interacting with a new internet and it's supposed to be virtual reality and augmented reality to where you actually are experiencing it. Not sitting down and using it, you actually are experiencing it. This is crazy. It's absolutely pretty awesome. And if you think about it, it's in its infancy state at this point in time. Obviously, the idea has been out there for quite some time. The technology is continuing to evolve. If you look at the involvement of technology over the last two years with the pandemic and how things have just accelerated, this is going to accelerate as well. So make sure that you're majoring in the right majors because it's see it's it's tech, augmented reality, virtual reality, cloud, all this other stuff, right? Um, coding, development, database administrator, cybersecurity. These are all spaces that you need to be getting into in order for you to get to the bag because that all those things are going to be needed. Every single one of them are going to be needed. So, if you're thinking about, if you're on a fence of determining or trying to decide if you want to go into tech or not, guys, you already see it. The writing's on the wall. Get there. Get there. Learn new skills. Get there. But Facebook or Meta is changing it all. This is going to be a new world. This is going to be a new world. And what I want to start off with in this show today is I want to read an article by Medium. It's a three-minute read. That's going to give you some more information on the metaverse. And here's the thing. When you come up with new technology, new solutions like this, that's going to be an advancement in the world. This is going to be an advancement in the world where we're going to have our own universe that we live in and have our own house and 3D and so forth. But there's going to be another world as well, a virtual world. And guess what? You can make money in that virtual world. You can feel or you can you know sense things in that virtual world if that was if if we were that far along i wouldn't have had to go into chicago i could have been at a table singing at a table where um a, a replica of what we experienced in chicago this week around 60 people at a table talking having a good time you're going to be able to experience that in a metaverse so there are a lot of pros to it. And that's what I want to talk about today. There are also going to be some cons to it. And this is going to be based on an article from Medium. And I want to hear from you guys today as well. So what I'm going to do is, this is going to be a call-in show. It's going to be me hitting a topic very quick. 
But I want for you guys to get an opportunity to call in because I want to hear from you. I haven't heard from you guys in quite some time. So I want you guys to call into the show and you talk about what you think the pros and cons are, because there are going to be some things that I couldn't, I haven't even wrapped my round, my mind around yet about the technology and the benefits from it, but also the cons behind it as well. My wife and I, we were driving to the vineyard last night and I was telling her about the metaverse because she's heard about it, but she didn't, you know, look into it as well. And I'm telling her about what this potentially could be and what it is going to be. And the use cases started to come up in her head. You know, when you have a father who has health issues, right? And they're not able to experience or to experience, you know, the Kiran kids or something like that, or they're on the side of the world. Well, with the metaverse, you can literally be in the same room with somebody playing cards on the other side of the world. Somebody who has health issues in the metaverse, they can still experience their grandchildren. They don't have to physically be there, right? But you still get that sense of experience. It's pretty remarkable. Those are some of the pros, guys. And I want for you guys to start thinking about what are some of the applications that you can see, some of the use cases. And I want you to call into the show to uh, give some give some feedback on what do you think some of the pros and cons are of the metaverse. All right, let's do that. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let me jump over to the chat real fast before we get into the article. Let me uh, jump into the chat real fast before we get to the article. Modbot says we got uh, our, our brother Menzi in the house. Um, Aston is in the house. Good morning, BH Chat. Christian's in the house. Tiffany Gibran is in the house. Many new people wears me out, not in a bad way, but I get physically tired, introvert issues. Yeah, I can tell you this, Gibran, this week, this week, man, I, I am tired, man. I, I'm going to tell you like this right now. Uh, uh, your, 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 your BH member, when I woke up this morning, I was like, because I didn't sleep good last night. I didn't sleep good last night. I, I slept up until 3.45, then I was up from 3.45 until like 5.10, and my body went back to sleep, and I woke up at 7.50 today, and I was like, oh my gosh. And I just, I have this cloud right now. So uh, I need this coffee to kick in pretty soon. But yeah, it does wear you out. It does wear you out. Tang Ray's in the house. Professor Black Ops in the house. My brother. Uh, who else is in the house? Teresa Wade is in the house. I appreciate you, babe. Um, who else is in the house? Brother, truth be told, glass ceiling doesn't exit, exit, uh, people stop making excuses. Yes. Brother truth says the glass ceiling doesn't exist. People, you know, that's the mentality to have. That's the mentality to have brother truth be told. I can tell you this right now. You got to put in the work, no matter what the glass ceiling. I can tell you this. Everybody says they experience a glass ceiling, right? I was talking to white women to this today, white men today, black men today. Asian men today or this week. Uh, I said today, I meant this week, guys. Um, you know, uh, white men, uh, Indian men, uh, all good brothers and sisters of ours, right? And, you know, certain parts in them would say that they've hit a glass ceiling, asking me what are some things that they can do in order for them to get to the next level in their life, right? People are starting to say, you know, there's a glass ceiling that exists for everybody. But if, if it exists for everybody, does it exist? No, it does not. Own you the results. It's your responsibility. Make it happen, right? That's the mentality of a ladder climber. That's the mentality of a ladder climber. You got to push each other to get there as well, too. And I can tell you this, it's, it's not easy. None of it, it is easy. None of it is easy at all. Making $500,000 a year isn't easy. And it isn't easy to keep. Making $100,000 a year isn't easy, but it takes work. And when you get there, you can make more. You're going to realize you can continue to make more and so forth. But it's not easy. It's not like people are going to give you $100,000. Just, hey, here, take $100,000. Take $500,000. You have to work. You have to map out how you're going to get there in the first place. And you have to deliver results. So, brother, truth be told, uh, absolutely fantastic. Stop the excuses. Stop the excuses. I love it. Blind guy, his wife, their life, listening and cooking breakfast pieces, still learning about the metaverse. So keep talking. I am in. Corey Laquita, what's happening? Corey, I, uh, let's catch up this weekend, brother. Let's certainly catch up this weekend. He called me. Corey called me, I think, on Thursday. I was uh, in a dinner um, with some clients or with my team members and uh, wasn't able to pick up. So, Corey, I'll get with you this weekend, brother. Looking forward to the conversation. 
Joy Q, Joy in the house. Good morning, Mr. Wade. I appreciate you, brother. Ryan Blackwell's in the house as well. Peace to all listening from the work in Detroit, Michigan. And get that work done, Ryan, man. Get that work done, man. It's a Saturday. It's a beautiful day to make that money, man. Get that money. Engineering cannabis in the house. Everybody only focuses on the so social aspect of the metaverse. It's application in verse and healthcare and surgeries or used in repairing planes, cars, and mechanical operations in real time. Ooh, that's deep, engineering cannabis. And I would love, so when I open this thing up, see, these are the things that we should be learning from each other on because I didn't think about these use cases that Brother Engineering Cannabis talked about just now, right? I understand the surgeries piece of it. We just talked about healthcare. But think about this as a mechanic, being able to see and teach people things is pretty awesome. But not only that, Here's another part of it as well. If you have avatars, do people, do you really then have the excuse to say race is the determination of who you are as a person and why you can't get there? Can you use that? Can you use religion? Right? Does that really take bias out of things? I want you guys to start thinking about this stuff. If you have an avatar, don't get me wrong, and you're in a metaverse, you could be anybody. You could be anybody. You have to create an identity for yourself, though. So it's going to be very important, guys. It's going to be very important. Christian says, I, uh, I'm i extremely happy that you are covering this topic. As tech professionals, how can we profit and get involved with the metaverse? Absolutely, Christian. We're going to we're gonna touch on that. We're going to touch on that. I got an article in here from the Central Lamp, and it's going to be around NFTs that Jermaine is talking about here. Jermaine Berkeley. I appreciate that, brother. NFTs, that's absolutely right. The Last God. They're building the matrix. Yes, they are. They are. They absolutely are. It's built on multiple technologies, including cloud computing. Uh, Brother Minji said, absolutely, my bot. Jermaine Berkeley. Now, if we rule, if we spirit, let me go through here. Uh, Kamal's in the house all the way from Japan. Kamal's in the house all the way from Japan. Good morning or good evening to you, brother. It's late by you. Hope you had a fantastic week, Brother Kamal. Another one of our patrons. Another one of our ladder climbers. Educated disciple. Black Heights, great topic. Looking forward to the discussion. Uh, okay, so let's get to it. Let's get to the article. Let's get to the article. Uh, let's get this on the screen. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Here we go. All right. Let's do this, guys. I'm going to put myself on a quick mute. Uh, let's do this real fast. Cut my audio. Audio is back. Perfect. Okay. All right. You guys have heard of the metaverse. Okay. You've heard of it. You've heard of it. Well, let's dive a little bit deeper into it. So, Facebook, our favorite tech, <laughs> our favorite tech company, right? The Facebook. You know, they made news and were in the headlines about changing the name to Meta. And right now, they are at the beginning phase of changing and creating the metaverse. 